Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to look at the um, M5STAT Atom computer that's um, hosting a H driver for LEGO Power Function Motors. And in particular, I'll be using the uh, M motor. So um, here's the project. I'll be uh, describing what the Atom H bridge is. We'll be looking at um, some software and uh, constructing a project with hardware. And uh, I'll give you some references at the end. Now, the, uh, the H driver controls motors. It powers and controls motors. And this particular version is interesting because you can actually have um, higher voltage motors that... Um, a bit different from the M5 stack um, atom motion, where you only can use 5 volts. Here, you can use um, 9 to 24 volts, and you can uh, get up to 1.5 amps total um, current output. So um, quite suitable for LEGO power function motors. And uh, the way you would use this is that um, you've got your motor on the right and the H-Bridge motor driver provides the current and makes sure that the both the motor and the computer are um, protected. And um, I want to explore how suitable this driver is for Lego Technic Motors. And um, I want to see if they can be interfaced to M5 stack computers, such as the Atom computer. I want to verify that the software uh, demos work and that the uh, drivers perform. And uh, would it be a suitable extension to the uh, Lego Technics 9 686 set and there are plenty of um, clones uh, to that including the mock 9686 so you can see what you can do with it you can um, add lego components and make all sorts of um, interesting uh, models so how does it work well to um, to get it going you need to uh, connect it with an electrical circuit. And that's what we're going to do here. So we take our Atom H driver, turn it around, and that exposes the, uh, the terminals. And we connect a um, high power here. I've got a, uh, a nine volt power supply, which is coming from a USB nine to 12 volt converter. And I'm going to use um, the Lego power function, the M motor, and I'm going to connect the uh, Lego header on that with an extension cable. But I'm going to cut the extension cable and take the inner two wires to uh, the Atom H drive. So um, we need to know what the function is of each of those uh, wires. The outer ones provide the power and the inner ones can provide the um, uh, the motor drive voltage. So all we do is just connect C1 and C2 to uh, the uh, pins on the Atom H driver. And I'm also going to add um, a little bit more functionality. So I've got a button on the H driver, which is the um, button A. Uh, but I'm going to add the uh, M5 stack mini dual button unit, and uh, that goes in to the Grove socket on the Atom H driver using a uh, Grove cable. And instead of using batteries, I'm going to use the USB booster cable, and it provides um, 9 to 12 volts and I can get um, one amp out of that. Quite suitable for this application. Uh, but we need to do a bit of um, assembly. So 
So uh, after we get the tools, uh, we cut the LEGO power function extension wire and um, we solder the inner wires uh, to uh, DuPont wire with uh, male headers. So you can see uh, where I've cut the wire and I've exposed the inner wires ready to uh, connect uh, to these um, colored DuPont wires. And uh, I've got a bit of heat shrink, so I'll be um, covering the solar with, um, with some of that. And a bit of soldering. So you, you can either uh, solder onto the uh, wire, or alternatively, you can disassemble the uh, Lego header and solder the, uh, the terminals directly uh, with um, DuPont wires. So um, I've chosen the former here. And uh, here are the results. So you can see uh, the um, motor, the logo, Lego motor on the right. And uh, on the left, there's the H drive. With On the bottom, we've got the um, controls. So after the uh, results, stay tuned, and I'll give you a, uh, a demonstration on how it worked. Uh, for the software, I'm using uh, UI Flow. And um, you can see where I'm setting up the variables and initializing the H driver at the start. And uh, the um, main part of the program is quite simple. It's just looping around, checking to see if the uh, start flag has been set. And um, it also looks at the direction. Will it go forward or will it go reverse? And I've got a little bit of debugging routines there. Um, where I'm uh, printing out the uh, direction, the um, start flag, the voltage, and also the status. So the, the last one, the status, is interesting because it actually tells me if there's a fault with the unit, say, over current fault. So um, I've got some interrupts. Uh, the dual button allows me to control direction. And uh, that interrupt um, just simply changes the direction. And at the same time, it changes the color on the uh, Atom computer. So I've got a little uh, NeoPixel LED, which is um, part of the, um, the Atom. And if I press button A, I just simply um, start or stop the motor. So here are the references. And um, stay tuned, and I'll give you a, a demonstration. This is the Atom H driver, and it's driving a Lego power functions motor, which is the uh, M version. So you can see the uh, Lego motor here, and um, the controls. Uh, if we want to change direction, we can go forward or reverse. And we're using a small computer from M5 Stack called the Atom Computer. So it's hosting, the Atom Computer here is hosting a H drive base. Uh, so um, if I want to start the motor, I just press the um, A button. Then you can see that it's uh, effectively driving. Now the power for this is coming from a um, USB uh, 9 volt converter. And the other control, if I want to change direction, or if I want to stop. And all of that is um, going on to the uh, USB monitor and I can see the status uh, so if I turn it on you'll notice that it will uh, change and that's the um, Atom H driver driving Lego motor okay that's all for now